the last and final shape we need to look at is the kite. How do you think you could get from this kite shape to this rectangular shape? Any ideas? Again, I hope you will try this out by cutting paper or cardboard shapes by yourself. This is the best way to be sure that you follow what I have done. Right, here we go. Here I have a cutout of a kite. I've drawn in the long diagonal as well as the short diagonal. I'm going to take my pair of scissors and cut along the long diagonal, like this. Now I'm going to cut along half of the short diagonal. Next, we flip this triangle like this and slide it all the way around to slot in like this. We do the same with this triangle, flip along this line and slide it along. And here we have our rectangle. That was quite fast. I think we need to take a slow, careful look at what I did to get the rectangle. Let's start with this kite. I have labelled it OPQR. We can draw in the diagonals from O to Q and R to P. We'll call this diagonal OQ D1 and diagonal RP D2. I'll mark this point where the diagonals intersect as point S. Now cut through on diagonal RP. Then cut out triangles RSQ and PSQ along the fold line SQ. Flip triangle RSQ over the line SQ like this and slide it up to fit onto OR like this. Let's do it again. PSQ over the line SQ and slide up until QP fits onto OP. Here it is again. And look at what we've made. A rectangle. Let's label it. We'll call our rectangle S, S prime, P, R. Can you see that the area of this kite is equal to the area of this rectangle? We have used the rectangle formula several times now. Do you remember what it is? It is base times perpendicular height. By using this, let's work out the formula for a kite. We know that the area of the kite is equal to the area of the rectangle and that the formula for the area of the rectangle is area is equal to base times height. Now in the rectangle, we have a base of PR, which is also the long diagonal of the kite. So we can instead write D2. The height of our rectangle is actually half the diagonal, the short diagonal of the kite. So we could write half of D1. This means that the surface area of our kite is area is equal to D2 times half of D1, where D1 is the first diagonal and D2 is the second diagonal. The area of a kite is half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 of the kite. 